Spartanburg continues to have the highest per capita of international investment of any place in the country. Uh, the history of that is that a lot of these international companies came to Spartanburg back in the early 60s and mid 60s and even the early 70s trying to center around the American textile industry. A lot of them were attracted here by Millican. Uh, as time went on uh, and we became broadly known around the world, we brought in the Michelins and later the BMWs and other international companies that felt comfortable here because of the foreign climate, but also because of the good workforce. And we continue to see that today with further investment by BMW, by Michelin, by AFL, and by other companies that have uh, chosen to remain here and to expand here. 28% of the jobs in the upstate are manufacturing, manufacturing related. And the fastest growing part of our economy is manufacturing. At this point in time, over the last two years, 85% of the new investment in Spartanburg County was manufacturing. And indeed, 85% of the prospects that come here to look at Spartanburg County are manufacturing companies. So we're at 28% and growing. Manufacturing is becoming a much more important piece of our economy and is presenting much more opportunity to potential employees but yet somehow we, we have a disconnect, and, and I would call that disconnect an enormous opportunity for the companies and for the potential employees and for the students in high school <clears throat> to find a future equal to their ambition. A lot of people are growing up with that sense of, if I work in a factory, it's gonna be horrible conditions and there's never any reward to that. And if you look at today's factory, it's a whole new world. We've been visiting factories lately that are ab brand new, absolutely spotless places to work, happy employees, great working conditions, and again, the potential for some really, really high levels of, of compensation. When you say the average you know, manufacturing job pays $49,000 a year, uh, in that spectrum of jobs, yes, you've got some that are you know, $25,000, there's some that are $150,000. We, we now witness a, a, a system in our high schools where each child, each student is interviewed and counseled and selects a path to carry them through high school, one of 16 clusters. And that curriculum for that child during their high school years is guided by the needs of that particular cluster. But if we look at how many kids are in each, clusters, each cluster, we do see a disconnect. And that disconnect is we got lots of kids who think they're going to be crime scene investigators or, or are going to design computer games for a living, and we don't have jobs for that in the F-State. And then we've got other kids where we have lots of jobs, like in manufacturing, and they're not in that sector. Kids have not signed up for that sector. Um, one of the things that we talk to parents and students about is the basic principle of supply and demand. Make sure that when you spend this time and money and effort to educate your children. Make sure they're going to be prepared to enter the workforce and make sure that they're going to be self-sufficient financially. The Chamber's job is to promote business and if we can't give business a reliable workforce then we can't attract new and better businesses. Our job is always to improve the standard, go higher and higher and we do that by having the very best workforce and the very best environment for businesses to locate. It's an expectation of the community. Uh, years ago, you know, the idea was if you could get out of high school, great. If you didn't, uh, no problem, you're going to have a job. The reality of it today is the expectation of not only just uh, educators, uh, but the community has to expect that the, the people who are being developed into this community have to have an education because that's how this, the livelihood and the, and the foundation of the economic strength of, of Spartanburg County and the upstate will be driven by the fact that we have a highly trained workforce. The consequences are many. The one that, that keeps us awake at night is how do we look at a company that, that's coming here wants to invest millions of dollars in new facilities, new equipment, contemporary technology, uh, advance our community and they look us in the eye and they say can you give me total confidence that I'll find the workforce that I need to complete this mission 
That's, that, that's the one that keeps us up at night. And if we stop getting new investment, we start to age out. So we need that new investment year after year. We're in an interesting place. Companies from around the world are looking at Spartanburg, South Carolina as a preferred place to locate their, their jobs and their investment. We can't continue to do that if we don't have the workforce. We're no longer competing with the county next door, the state next door, the region of this country. We're competing in a worldwide arena and if we don't do a, the very best job that we can do, then we're letting all of our people down. So. Uh, doing a good job, doing it differently than we've done before, being innovative, involving all of the different groups into this collaborative effort uh, is what we've got to do, and we're doing it. It's going to take us a long time to, to see the rewards of it, but, uh, but we're going to do it.